Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about the most common issue users come across with Microsoft Teams application in the Citrix VDI environment. So some users, when they try to communicate with others, uh, the microphone or they're not able to communicate with others and the microphone is not working for some strange reason inside Citrix VDI environment. So you can follow these steps to resolve this issue because I came across this issue in the Citrix VDI environment. So you can also follow these steps to resolve this issue. So once you open Microsoft Teams, you see this uh, three, little, three little dots on the top right hand side, or if you are on a different version of Microsoft Teams, you find it somewhere else. So you need to click on this three little dots and you see settings here. All you need to do is you need to go to settings. So once you go to settings, you see general accounts, privacy, notification devices, app permissions, captions and transcripts, files and calls. You need to click on devices here. So once you click on devices, you see audio devices, speaker and microphone. So what you need to do is under microphone by default, if it is not working for you by default, you none or default something else is selected. So what you need to do is you need to click on this drop down box. If you find two devices under microphone, you need to toggle it. You need to test one after the other. OK, if you have one and two, test it with one first. If it doesn't work, test it with the second microphone. OK, so one of them should definitely work. So most of the users by default, they are, they are using incorrect option. So once you toggle it, once you test it with two different microphones, uh, once you test it with the right one, it will start working immediately. And also you can also make a test call. You also have a test call, so you can also test it using a, using by clicking this, make a test call and it should definitely work. So yeah, this is this is how we need to solve this problem inside the Citrix VDI environment, especially Microsoft Teams. So some users have challenges these days. So please follow these steps and it should probably resolve the issue. Okay, I hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.